the one beautiful thing that we as a company found when these models started coming out is the simple piece of understanding. Understanding a human in natural language, basically. And the accuracy of that is through the roof, essentially. So it's almost close to 100%. So NLP, as we know it, or NLU, to be very specific, is sort, you know, to a large extent. Yes, you have to give it context, you have to give it some input in your instruction or the prompt, but fundamentally, you know, computer engineers or even just regular business analysts are able to instruct a model to understand what the intent is, right? And the entity extraction is also solved to a large extent. The more important thing that's coming out is planning. And I'm pleasantly surprised with the planning capabilities of many of the models. You know, being able to take an instruction, break it down into multiple steps, and logically, you know, connected steps, has been pretty resilient and it's improving over time. But obviously, if you read about AI, one of the things that everybody, and I was, you know, like I said, in Redmond with Microsoft Research as well, you know, the North Pole, the Holy Grail, is reasoning, right? Reasoning like all, we, all of us do in our own minds, you know, is based on our historical knowledge, it's based on the current context, the current environment, and all of that, essentially. So it's a tough, 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 tough pro problem to solve. And as businesses, can you rely on the reasoning of a, of a model? You don't know what those things are trained on. Basically, you are just giving an instruction and context. But if you are able to rely on the reasoning, to some extent, with some guardrails, with some boundaries, basically, it creates so much value 